Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Shepard and I'm a recent graduate of the Engineering Physics program here at the University of Saskatchewan. I was fortunate to continue the research I performed over the last year under the direction of Dr. Bert Whistle in the Accelerator Operations and Development Division of the CLS. My research project, Constructing a Virtual Twin of the QMS C Beam Line, has been an incredibly rewarding experience and I'm excited to share it with you. The QMSC beamline at the CLS produces soft X-rays with variable polarization to probe the structures of materials. And in doing so, they require 100% circularly polarized light at the end station. However, this is difficult to achieve because the beamline optics slightly alter the polarization of the low energy photons as they propagate. And the current approach for fixing this problem is outdated and, if, and inefficient. So this is where my research began last summer. Since machine learning has recently been applied and deployed at several light source facilities, we investigated and verified the feasibility of using a machine learning model for predicting the beam characteristics of the QMSE insertion device. And this summer, I focused on building a model of the QMSE beamline in Python to describe and demonstrate how the mirrors and gratings affect the polarization of the transmitted light. Then, this model may be used to train a new machine learning model representing the entire QMSC beam line and its insertion device. So to complete this, I first arranged the optical elements, performed grading efficiency calculations, shown in the middle of the poster, and then generated the equations required for describing the motion of the monochromator elements, shown in the bottom. And my results indicate that the monochromator equations are appropriate, and our approach for computing and applying the grading efficiencies into the model is also feasible. The top right hand corner is an example of the spot size you would see at the QMSC end station for 15 EV. Additionally, the grading efficiency calculations also indicate lower reflectivities than previously expected. However, more work is required to verify the model demonstrates the same energy resolution and spot sizes as experimentally shown. Additional grading efficiency calculations are also required before the model may be used to train a new machine learning model. Some challenges I encountered this summer include working with mathematically incorrect technical spec sheets from industry suppliers, navigating through tech spec sheets for information when they're inconsistent and conflict each other, and encountering faulty source code in the program in which I was working in. Overall, I had an exceptionally positive experience uh, where I strengthened my passion for modeling complex systems, and I also increased my appreciation for the positive impact machine learning is having on the scientific community. I enjoyed, I uh, hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you very much.